and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. Today's problem is kth element of two arrays which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So basically we will be given two arrays A and B of integer types and we have also given one integer k and uh, let's first of all see the constraints as well so a dot length and b dot length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 6 okay k can be anything from a dot size plus b dot size okay and uh, array elements can be from 0 to 10 raised to the power 8 okay all right let's find out what we have to do so first of all basically these two arrays a and b are sorted arrays these a and b arrays are sorted arrays okay all right so the task is to find the element that would be the kth position like we have to basically find the kth minimum element we can simplify it if we combine both a array and b array and we have to find the kth minimum array okay kth minimum element and we have to return it okay all right so if we will take these two arrays 2 3 6 7 9 and 1 4 8 10 so one thing i just want to clear these arrays are sorted in itself these arrays are sorted in themselves only okay so here you can see 2 3 6 7 9 it is a sorted 1 4 8 10 it is sorted but if we will merge a array and b array if we will merge a array and b array their merge their combined array will not be sorted okay their combined array will not be sorted they are only sorted in themselves okay all right so what i'm saying is ki suppose this a array and b array if i will combine so it will become something like 2 3 6 7 9 and after it 1 4 8 and 10 okay all right so this is one array which is sorted and combined but which is not sorted but combined so if we will sort it if we will sort it what new array will become 1 2 3 4 not 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay this will become and now what is the fifth element so if you will see the fifth element is 1 2 3 4 6 so we will return 6 because k is equal to 5 here so we have to return the fifth element of the combined array okay all right fifth element okay all right so fifth element here is 6 i hope the problem statement will be very very clear to you now what can be the solution what can be the solution so basically the first brute force solution which will come in our mind is uh, basically to make one array list take one array list store both of the a array and b array into it and uh, we will then sort it we will then sort that array array list and then we will return uh, n minus one like k minus one at element because it will start from zero index and k equal to five is like the one indexed okay so we will simply return the element which is present at k minus one index okay and we will get our answer but if we will see the time complexity here will be uh, we are sorting basically the both of the array so it will be n plus m log m plus n and we are also taking some extra space as well so can we reduce that can we reduce that yes we can reduce that we don't need actually we don't need to sort this array combinedly sort this array okay because the array in themselves it is already sorted so can we utilize that can we utilize that let's see it is 9 and this is another array okay so these two are different different arrays what i will do is what i will do is i will keep one pointer at this i will keep one pointer at this and uh, let's say my k is 5 k is 5 i will not say anything it is already 5 okay so now let's take one counter now let's take one counter to have to check key what is my current elements which i have traversed okay all right uh, let's me ignore this and well so first of all what i will do these two pointers i will compare them i will compare them like which one is minimum which one is minimum okay so this one is minimum okay so for now my count will become one my answer for now will be my answer for now will be also one that is one of this traverse and now i will increase this pointer i will increase this pointer to next one okay all right now again this two and this four will be compared but before that before that i will check if at any point if at any point my c count is equal to k i will simply return my answer okay if at any point my count is equal to k it means i've got my kth element and i will simply return my answer okay all right so now what happens is 2 and 4 so which one is less 2 okay so this pointer will be increased 2 and i will come here count has become 2 because i have, I have traversed two elements count is 2 because i have traversed two elements and uh, answer is equal to 2 why because this is the let's say the element which i have last traversed so it will be answer for now okay all right after that 3 and 4 so which one is small 3 3 is small so now this pointer will increase to 6 
okay this pointer will increase to 6 now i have traversed three elements so count will be 3 and answer will be 3 as well okay all right after that again 6 and 4 so which one is the small 4 so fourth counter will be increased to this 8 and uh, answer will become what now answer will become what answer will become 4 okay answer has become 4 count has also become 4 and now again i will check 6 and 8 so which one is the small 6 so this pointer will be increased here okay so count will become what 5 count is basically saying key uh, which is the how many elements i have traversed okay and answer for now what will be 6 because this is the last element the answer is the last element i have traversed so 6 is that okay all right now again i will check oh my count is equal to k my count is equal to k so at that point we will simply return our answer at that point we will simply return our answer and yeah we have got it we have got it okay all right so i hope this one will be clear to you the ex uh, uh, approach which we are going to follow and let's take one more example to take care of one edge case which i have just think so basically what i will do is let's say one two three four okay all right and then there is five six seven okay and now my k is my k is equal to let's say six okay all right so how now look this pointer first array like the approach which i told the first pointer will be at the last will become will become like the whole array will be traversed and still i will not get my answer whole array will be traversed and still i will not get our answer and then what i will do i will simply five six seven is there now so if the element is not present at there so what i will compare if element is not present we can name it as int max we can take it as int max because the array elements is 10 raised to the power 8 only the constraints say okay so we will simply take int max okay for that and then we will simply compare and we will get our answer i hope the explanation will be clear to you and when i will code it it will it will become more clear to you so yeah let's see the code section but before that if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and i have made a very cool chrome extension for you as well so let me show you that all right let me give you a quick walkthrough of the extension which i have built so you will get the link in the comment section pinned one so you have to go through that it will open this ui here you will be having one add to chrome button you just have to add it you just have to add it okay all right after that you will go to any geeks for geeks question you will have to refresh it once so that changes are getting reflected after that you will get this watch tutorial button okay this watch tutorial button it will be here and on clicking of this a simple modal will open and here you can find all the tutorials here first one is mine only count inversions which i have just uploaded yesterday and there are others as well uh strivers is there and this is tech those one geeks for geeks as well okay all right so whatever you want to to watch you can simply click on this and uh, it will be open opened here as well and if you want to see it on youtube just click on watch on youtube and you will be uh, moved to this video and you can watch it here as well okay all right so yeah that was it guys about the extension and you can pin it as well like you can use this pin and after that you can use this extension on lead code as well you can use this extension on lead code as well okay all right so yeah that's it guys let's move back to the uh code part okay all right i hope you have liked liked the chrome extension and you will surely download it it's absolutely safe and free as well okay all right so now let's move on to the code section so what i will do first of all let me take two variables int i is equal to j i equal to zero and j is equal to zero these are our two pointers and after that let's take n is equal to a dot length and b sorry j and sorry m is equal to v dot length okay so it's too much cold here actually and uh, i'm feeling a bit cold but no let's no issue let's make the solution so now you will think key look this k will always lie between a dot size to b dot size this k will always lie between a dot size to b dot size okay so i will definitely get our answer i will definitely get our answer okay so what i will do i will simply write while true there is no condition inside it okay all right while true now i will what i will do is let's say x1 x1 is equal to what look if my i is inside a dot length so what i will write i is less than n so in that case i will have a definite number i will have a number of like the element of a array so i will simply write a of i okay otherwise otherwise what i will do i like I, if this is not true it means all the elements of a array is uh, traversed all the elements of a array is traversed and now as i told i will simply take integer dot max value okay all right similarly i will take uh, x2 as well int x2 is equal to but here few things will change 
j and then m and then here i will take b i b j otherwise it will be integer dot max l okay all right now it's very very easy as i already told what i will do i will compare two elements x1 as less than x2 if x1 is less than x2 so what i will do i will increase ith pointer then okay i will increase ith pointer then so i plus plus and after that if you remember i have to take one more variable let's say answer let's say answer and now what i have told answer will be equal to a of i okay answer will be equal to a of i no i have already taking x1 here so let's take x1 because a of i it's not good and similarly similarly if uh, it's not there so what i will do i will increase j pointer and now my answer will be equal to x2 okay all right and after that if you remember i have to take one more variable counter c is equal to 0 okay c is equal to 0 means c is basically which element is traversed okay how many elements how many elements are traversed so c plus plus okay all right and if what will be the, our uh, edge case what will be our base condition to out of come out of this while loop that will be if at any point my c is equal to k it means my number of elements traversed is equal to k so it means i have got my answer and i will simply return my answer and yeah guys that is it that is it and i hope it will be very very clear to you let's submit it directly meanwhile please subscribe to the channel share your feedbacks into the comment section because it will make me help me make better and download the chrome extension as well it's absolutely free and you will surely love it and i'm going to see you